Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on when you'll be watching this session. Welcome to the newspaper review for today at Prime Media TV. I am Ayo and I will be reviewing with you. But before we go into all that we have for you today, let's go on a quick break and we will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm taking you through to the first story to be reviewed with you today is from Vanguard, which says discrimination against Benga Daniel Sons fan shot KFC at Lagos Airport. Looking at the news in details. On March 27, Adebola Daniel posted on his official X page about his experience at KFC. MMIA branch. According to Daniel, the restaurant had stopped him and his family from entering, stating that no wheelchairs were allowed. Just as we were about to sit, the lady at the tea, who was the manager, called out loudly, no wheelchairs allowed. She refused to listen to reason and stood her ground that at KFC Nigeria, Murtala Mohamed Airport branch, wheelchairs and wheelchair users of all shapes and sizes were not permitted on the premises and we should leave immediately. I have never been the type of person to make a fuse or complaint about my disability. Reacting to the development and director of public affairs and consumer protection at FAN, Obeageli Ora, said the authority had investigated the matter and made their decision. Ora added that the shutdown would take effect from March 28th. Um, this is really a sad incident for... Adebola Daniel, the son to the former Ogun State Governor, Benga Daniels. As much as this is so disheartening and it has as well raised um, a lot of reactions from Nigeria as to the fact that what if this had been the son of an ordinary person? Because quite a number of times we have had an ordinary man who, who, who is um, um, suffering from one disability or the other who has been abused, whose rights has been challenged. At the same time, we don't get to see these ordinary Nigerians coming out to make a fuse of the situation. We've never had, even if they had come out to seek justice for themselves, they are in the long run, they are in the long run um, not listened to. Looking, um, using the case of um, Chioma as, as a case study, so that Chioma came out to make a review of a product that she has bought and she has called, she came online to her, she, she took to her Facebook handle to make a review of that product. And we saw in the long run that Chioma currently, as we speak, has been sentenced to seven years imprisonment all because she has made a review. Now, this is now making Nigerians to compare the situation. Chioma came out to make a review online at the same time, the son of Benga Daniel, Adebola Daniel, had come online to make um, a complaint of what of, of the way he was treated at KFC at the Murit Ala Mohamed Airport. And we saw that he did not even make the complaint to any police station. He only took to his ex Andu to make this complaint. And instantly, fans swung into action. As much as we all know that there is a law binding this act, that no um, um, physically impaired person, no disabled person should be treated anyhow in a public place, in an organization or, 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 or things like that, in as much as we are aware of this. A lot of Nigerians are asking that what if it had been an ordinary Nigerian? Would we have gotten the same reaction as we are getting from Adebola Daniel? Would we have gotten the same reaction from FAN? Would we have gotten the same reaction from FCCPC, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Would we have gotten the same reaction from them? Now, KFC has been locked down. In as much as this is a sad event, at the same time, we feel like all Nigerians should be treated equally. We have had ordinary Nigerians who are, who are not allowed at public events, who are mistreated, yet we don't get to hear from these people. 
And it is making us also say that awareness campaign should be made for inclusive inclusiveness for all persons, regardless of who is involved, regardless of who they are talking about, regardless of who this this kind of scene has happened to. Outside of the fact that it is uh, the son of uh, a former governor that is involved, all Nigerians are humans and they should be treated like humans. All Nigerians are human beings. And the fact that they are physically impaired, the fact that they are physically disabled does not make them half human. So this may not, this, we, we have a lot of Adebola um, Daniels out there. We have a lot of people who have experienced cases like this. If these people should be coming out, are we going to be getting the same um, action as we, have, we are getting it for Adebola, Timi, uh, Ad, um, Adebola uh, Daniel? So if Adebola Daniel case can be handled like this, we look forward to the same action being taken for, um, we look forward to the same action being taken for other Nigerians who are involved in this kind of, this is making Nigerians also say that, should we say that this is um, preferential treatment because he's an high profile person? Probably it is because he's an high profile person. That is the reason why KFC is shut down. And that is that on the part of being physically impaired. Another thing that we should also come to note is that in this part of the world, we have a lot of individuals going into business. We have a lot of organiz organizations going into business without knowing all of the rules, all of the moralities guiding the business they are doing. Perhaps these people may not even may not have even known that there is a rule guiding the fact that a physically disabled person should not be treated in that manner. Perhaps they do not know, and now they are exposed to it. And this is a lesson to all Nigerians that if you are going into business or whatever it is that you are going into, you should know all of the moral standards, all of the rules, all of the body of ethics guiding the profession you are going into. For every profession, there is an ethic, there is a code of conduct guiding that profession. So that code of, of conduct are the things that, that are going to guide you on how you should run your business so you don't end up committing an offense. Um, you don't end up realizing you have committed an offense after it must have been committed. Perhaps if, if these people had been aware of the code of conduct guiding all that they have, uh, all, all, all the, the code of conduct, the moralities, the moral standard, the ethics guiding this profession, they would not have treated not an average Nigerian, talk more of an air profile person like that. They wouldn't have treated him in such manner. So in as much as we are going into business for money, at the same time, we should be aware of the code of conduct guiding the business that we are doing. Moving on to the next headline, in the spirit of Easter, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu has taken to um, all of his social media and via, via a spokesperson um, to commemorate with all Christians nationwide on Easter celebration. Let's look at the news in details. President Bola Tinumbu has commended Nigerians for their patience in the last few months while his administration worked to steer the nation to recovery and sustainable growth, assuring their sacrifices are, being, are beginning to pay off. Sinumbu extended kudos to Nigerians in his Easter message on Friday, further urging them to yield themselves to selflessness and compassion, being steadfast in seeking a united, peaceful, and prosperous nation. According to a statement by his special advisor on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngilali, alluding to the significance of the Easter, which is the triumph of life over death, the president assured Nigeria will triumph over its current challenges as his administration is devoted to achieving this purpose. He celebrated with Christians in Nigeria and around the world on the Easter season, urging them to commend themselves to the virtues of love, sacrifice, and compassion. President Bola Tinubu joins the Christian faithful to commem commemorate Easter, a significant moment and a glorious celebration of the triumph over life, of life over death. The president warmly greets Christians in Nigeria and around the world on this occasion, emphasizing love, sacrifice, and compassion as the pattern themes of the solemn season. 
and we should also not forget that in as much as mr president is co commemorating with nigerians over easter celebration at the same time we should not forget the fact that mr president's birthday is also this month and like we have said it is not new thing that we've not seen a lot of flyers all over the internet we've not seen a lot of publicity on the on the newspaper we've not seen a lot of news station talking about it but at the same time we should be reminded that it is mr president himself who has said that he, he would rather not be celebrated on a day like this because of the economic hardship and he has taken well, sorry has taken rather to um a social media platform to commemorate with all nigerians especially the christians celebrating easter at the same time telling Nigerians that their sacrifices are beginning to pay off. And Nigerians are asking, what sacrifice? Is it talking about the sacrifice of paying more than we are used to? Is it the sacrifice of having to pay double the amount of on transportation? Is it talking about the sacrifice we are paying on buying fuel at 630 naira per liter? Is it talking about the sacrifice of a dollar to naira at one one thousand three hundred and fourteen naira currently at the fx market is it talking about having to buy price having to buy bags of rice at a very costly rate are these all of the sacrifices is talking about that are beginning to pay off and nigerians are asking again if it is talking about our sacrifice beginning to pay off how is it paying off should we talk and should we talk about our resilience how our resilience has landed us to where we are this is a many question this is few out of the many questions in the arts of nigerians over what the president has, say, has said even as he is wishing nigerians a happy easter and we all of us at prime media tv we are using this medium to wish all nigerians all christians nationwide all of our viewers watching us from different parts of the world a happy easter from all of us at prime media tv and this brings us to the end of the newspaper review for today Thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. And before we leave the studio, we'd like that you follow us on all our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Prime Media TV. On TikTok and Instagram, we are Prime Media Studio. On the website, we are enginespeak.com. And you can as well follow us on YouTube at Enginespeak. Once again, I am Ayo. Until I come your way again, do have a great day.